Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, where we last left off was that we finished the game um, two episodes two episode uh, two episodes ago, and in the last episode we also finished up the Falake's side quest. So we are no longer needing to do uh, Falake hunting. We are still in the Bayek's Promise. Uh, I believe we have like yeah, we have two more technically to find. Um, but they're not extremely difficult to find, honestly. Um, but we're also exploring a little tidbit of some parts of the map, like this one. Where we need just get- where we just need to get a ancient tablet so we can get some ability points for our upgrades and such. But ultimately, we're done with the main game. We're moving into sort of like the- What the heck was that? I was not- I was not aware that thing existed. But okay, I guess. But yeah, um, but yeah, we're just exploring the last pieces of the map and trying to get the last two cir stone circles to unlock this side quest uh, finale or fin finish this side quest. So that means that technically, once I finish this, I should have no more side quests I think left to do deal with in the, from the main game. That is, there are side quests from the expansion, however, but that will be done as it goes, I guess. But yeah, I'm hoping to finish this game as quickly as possible still. There's so much more to do still in this game that I'm just, like, afraid that I might not, like, finish it in time. And I'm just worried that this might do so. That might happen again and again. So it's like, uh Well, it's going to get worse as well, too, because I'm imagining that, you know, like... I think we read this in the last episode. But yeah, I'm just getting more worried and worried because... If I think about it, like, literally, if this is similar to Odyssey in some ways, which is, it is similar to Odyssey in some ways, um, because of the fact that it's, uh, it's in the same engine, relatively, and it's about the same sort of, like, oh, there's a thing over here. What the heck? There we go. Let me breathe up a little bit first before we go back down again. I lunged a little bit and I spent my time down there for too long. But yeah, like, if, if anything, this game seems to tell me that, the, that there would be a lot of grinding, a lot of side quests to deal with. And I mean, it is true, actually. I read a, a recent article, actually. A recent article of Assassin's Creed Odyssey and a little bit of a controversy over uh, the story quest creator. Um, the story the story quest creator allows players to award how many you know experience points there is to the game. Um, wait, what? Excuse me. Yeah, but what the heck? There's a thing down there, but did I miss something? I think I did. I think I missed some stuff down here. The tablet might be underwater, probably, because judging how how it looks, it looks like there's another. Yeah, there's another pathway apparently. Pause and read that as quick as you can. Nope. Stop it. There we go. Oh, got a necklace. Ah, there it is. There we go. I like how the water Ancient writing from the old kingdom. I like how uh Maya kind of rises from the water when he's not really just to read the message for us. That's hilarious. All right, grab that. So it's just under that water apparently. All right, cool. That was a pretty chill. That was a pretty chill search of stuff. All right, gear. Stuff I don't use technically. Just random things I don't use. Oh, also, if you're wondering, um, the black little uh, shape in the back, that's another chair. I'm starting to use another chair now. Um, the other one wasn't really great anymore, or that I kept. It just wore out on me, so I just, I had to, like, leave it behind and change it up with a different one. Um, if you're wondering when I'll ever get to something like a HyperX, I would never get it. I apparently don't feel like I will probably get it. I don't know. Because it would probably be me when I'm not really wanting, when I really want something like that, but I don't think I would want it really that much. Uh, 
No, I remember we were looking for a stone circle, but I don't remember where exactly I saw one. That is not a golden circle. That's also not a golden circle. There's one nearby somewhere. I think this is the one. Maybe, we'll see. I mean, it is kind of like on a flat surface. So the idea of us finding stone circles are A, based on the fact that the question mark is golden, aka yellow, and B, it has to be on a flat surface. Sometimes flat surfaces could be underground stuff, which is like fine, but like at the same time, most of the times it's assumed to be a flat surface for me. Um, because I'm pretty certain that they aren't like as big as, they're not like in these like uniquely complex shapes and sizes and such at least I would say. And you would know that if it's like on a mountain, it's not really truly there, because you can't really, you can't really get a stone circle on a, on a non-flat surface in this game. So it's like it makes no sense for that to ever happen. Um, but yeah, overall, I we're finished with the game, and we're gonna probably move into the expansion after we're done with Bayek's Promise. Um, I do want to finish up this game already at this point because of the fact that there's other games I want to get back into or get yeah get in, give more time into but at the same time this is also the summer near the end of the summer where i'm supposedly trying to finish uh this and a couple other things i think oh it's a hideout oh no it's not it okay never mind then all right well it's not i guess the golden question mark is the elephant thing yeah it doesn't show me if it's an elephant thing or not Alright, well, we already got the stone circle from this area here, so we're good there. Because I kind of wondered, like, if you have a stone circle there, why would you have another stone circle again? Like, makes no sense, kind of thing. So it made sense that they kind of, it, that it's not true that there would be another stone circle right off the bat. Um, Is it, is Light Among the Dunes really, like, a side quest, really? It's kind of weird because it keeps marking the same side quest in other places versus the one that I just saw it in. Um, let's see. I'm still searching the map to see if there's any golden question marks, but I... Let me see. No. Uh, all icons, my photos, hide photos, or friends only, uncompleted. Uncompleted locations, I guess? Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm still looking for the golden question mark and such. I think this is it, right? Yeah, let's do it. I think that is a, uh... An actual stone, stone circle because that is nearby nothingness, All right? But yeah, that's it's very nearby to like nothingness. Like there's literally nothing in the way of there, and at the same time, there's no like stone circles nearby that certain particular uh, point location. So yeah, overall, I just want to get this game done because I want to start playing some other games, and I also want to get into Odyssey if I ever can when I'm done with this, but. Seeing how it is, it looks like we're not going to probably get to Odyssey in time. <coughs> because of the fact that, uh... Because of the fact that, uh, we are going to be... Busy with other things, I guess, I would say. I think that's a fortress I might get. <laughs> I don't want to go into the fortress, I want to get to the freaking thing. No easy shortcuts. No easy shortcuts. At the same time, um, yeah, the chair is also shorter now at the same time. Um, talking about the chair that I'm sitting on. It's a bit shorter. I did try to want it, like, I wanted to, like, actually make it higher, but that's because of the fact that, uh, how should I put it? The chair, like, broke on the little, like, the, pe the, the pump, the pump thing to go up, it broke on me, so I was just like, uh, okay. This is also an older chair, so it's like, I don't have any fancy new chairs at all. I wish that I could have gotten one, but, eh. 
it's like whatever. Chairs are great, but just I want to make sure it's like not only comfortable for me, but also like the fact that it works like hiding wise for these camera stuff. Because this ca this chair is technically not as tall as the table would be, or the tall as I wanted it to be for comparison to the other chair that is. So I would probably have to adjust the camera. Probably in the next episode, I'll, I'll adjust it and stuff and see what happens then. Because I didn't have time to adjust it since I switched it out like the day before this red recording or the two two days before this recording. It's like very recent. And then if you see like other older videos uh, or other videos um, that have like not this background thing, it's like it's because I recorded it on a certain day. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm giving you guys hints that later on there will be a fall season video s series. So there's going to be a lot of, like, videos in the fall. And some of them will contain uh, the chair that I'm currently sitting on. I don't know why I'm shaking like that, but just to signify that <laughs> it's this chair. And then there's going to be some that are from the older chair, which I recorded a few or a good chunk for the older video. Alright, anyways, we found the stone circle. Good enough. It's interesting that we found one. Circuit stone circle. Where do we interact? Here? Alrighty. It also looks like it doesn't... It's not gonna give us all the stone circles to capture. We just have, like, a few that we just need to do. Anything, guys? Speak. Papa, how do you know if you're in love? Why, Kim? Do you think you are in love? I don't know. Love should feel good. You and Mama are the only ones I love. But this hurts. Sometimes I can't even think straight. Ah. <laughs> that sounds like love. It could be. I was once like that. Very sorry, son. Is there more? I'm pretty sure he usually says more Scorpion about the circuit. She protected Iset and Horus from jealous set. She still protects against poisonous animals, but not love. Against that, there is no protection. Not even the gods can. Funny you should say that, though. All right, there we go. Alrighty, one more to go. I think there's one more stone circle to look for, and that's gonna be the tough one, I bet. <clears throat> there's one more stone circle to get. Very tough, I believe, to get that specifically. There is probably some other secret stuff that I know of, but I'm not sure if I should go for it as well. The, the one thing I'm thinking there's some secret stuff to go for, I forgot to mention this too, um, is the fact that... Uh, there's these, um, oh wait, let me wait till this thing just tells me that I... Nothing? Why the hell is this thing out here, though? That's a new one. Alright, no, um, so there are some secret stuff that is, like, uh, in particular, like, sort of, like, a, um... I don't know what to call it. Animus thing? It's like an animus sort of like... How should I put it? It's like an animus encoding thingy mabobber that talks and then like it gives these weird monologues that I don't know much about. Or don't know what it will tell us in general. Alright, uncompleted things. Let's see. That is something I already searched for. Nope, nope. 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 I'm trying to search for the golden, or for the stone circle, but it's like, not certain. This one is definitely for a tomb, I believe. I may be wrong, though, but I highly doubt it's for, uh, it's like one of those secret tombs and such. So apparently I completed those. So anything incompleted is shown here in the map, which is good. Because I did complete a lot of different map stuff nowadays. So far. What is this? Nothing. 
Is that it? No, that's the uh, elephant thing. Yeah, that's the elephant thing. I don't think so. Nope. 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 I hope it's not, like, far out, though. That's the only question I don't want to deal with. I don't want to deal with the stone circle that's very far out to the, to the farther sides of things. I'm sorry if this is kind of, like, nothing new or nothing interesting because I'm trying to, like... Try to finish these things as quickly as possible. It's like almost nearly impossible to find the last, last one. Like these stone circles are easy to find technically. Oh, this is moving underground. So this is the one weird thing that tells me that I may need to be underground for that one. So that's cool. Um, at the same time, it's never telling you if it's all the way down there or all the way up here. Where the heck would the last one be? That's probably a camp. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything out here. Um. I'm I'm glad that this option of me just searching for the uh, unmarked or untouched stuff maybe might be useful. But at the same time, I'm probably not. You know what? I'm gonna mark this part of the map and I'm gonna head to this direction first to unlock that region because I think that there are some regions parts that I'm not checking out yet that may contain the uh, stone circle because there might be one or the, the last one might be around the outskirts of wherever it is, like somewhere that you can't really like don't explore as often because I have been to places to a lot of places without or I've been to a different bunch of regions that I have not like really touched on as much which is kind of like kind of how I deal with things I guess um, I'm guessing that's a hyena but yeah overall I'm just trying my best to finish this game as fast as possible because I do want to move to Odyssey obviously and then I do want to also start some other games Ooh. got him get him get him thank you thank you Senu oh geez is this a black panther it looks like a panther rather than a leopard though Ow. Ow. I'm getting curious if there's a, like, sort of, like, jungly... What the heck? Oh, wait. Oh, they just, did Senu take out the other one, I'm guessing? Take out another goat out of nowhere. Alright, let's see what this region has to offer, though. Has a town... That's probably something else. Let's grab that though. Grab this so we can fast travel back here if we need to. Which I don't think we'll ever need to, honestly. But I do want to also complete the synchronization location stuff because there's a bunch of them that I still have yet to touch. But yeah, overall I just wanted to uh, move on from this game after it's done but it's like it's so impossible considering that there's it's such a big game but oh yeah yeah, yeah. i'm sorry sorry, sorry. I, I also cut myself out on the uh, assassin's creed odyssey um but yeah story quests little controversy not too much of a, a big one i don't think um but yeah they were rewarding a, blunt, a bunch of xp for free for doing something probably minimal like minial um when it, Ubisoft literally didn't want that. Ubisoft wanted something where it's like compelling and something cool, story quest wise, not something so simple. And then you can farm for the XP compared to doing all the side quests that Ubisoft has to offer in the game itself. So basically, a lot of people did that. Um, I think Ubisoft has already punish, started punishing those who tried to do it or make those kind of quests where it's just easy farming for XP. But at the same time, it's like. They did. Some people did mention um, that they the, the game is really grindy. Where if you're not at a level pace 
that is uh, that is met. Like the the if the level is not to your gate, like you 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 haven't met the gate of the level that you need to be at. You're gonna have a lot of trouble trying to struggle through trying to finish the game, the main story of the game. So the the big part of the problem with designing that is that you're preventing players from finishing the game. It's one. Which means that there's gonna be a probably a huge like dip in, in a certain mission probably. And um because some players don't want to waste their time playing side quests, obviously. That's the only problem. And I am okay with it. But not everybody's okay with it, obviously. There's everybody who has different playstyles that, um, that they go into the game wanting certain things out of the game. And one of them is just, I want to know what the story is going through, and that's it. I don't care about the side quests, I don't care about the side activities, I don't care about the side objectives or whatever, whatnot. I don't care about the side stories because they don't really concern me as much. It's just, I don't have that much time, I got other games to play. If you can't give me the chance of day to finish this game in one go, and I had to force myself to grind for extra levels through side quests or activities, then yeah, you're gonna bound to lose a lot of customers on, or not customer, you're gonna lose a lot of the player base right off the bat there, um, after a little bit of time. Pause and read that. But that's the problem of the designing that part, I think. Um, but they do, they do have these microtransactions that says, hey, on free levels. There's time-saving uh, microtransactions, I think it's called. I, it's funny because I have a story about that. I only had, I've only used it once. I've only bought one of them in my only one time, uh, in my one time of uh, playing Assassin's Creed. And that was during Assassin's Creed 4, which by all means for Assassin's Creed 4 was like, oh no, I'm dead. Yep, I was right. What the hell was that, though? I don't know. I, I just saw a package. I don't know what the hell that was. But yeah, in general, I, I did it once during my uh, during uh, Assassin's Creed 4. I was like kind of like bored, and I was like, I have a few spare cash on my Xbox account. And I was like, okay, well, since I do have spare cash, why not we use it on so-and-so? And I did. I ended up using it. I didn't want to use it at the time, or I didn't think about it at the time, about how it was like a a huge detriment to the game's experience, I feel like, if if not careful though. Yeah, I think that's a stone circle right there. Yep, I was right. So this region that we were we were missing out on is actually the region we needed to Yeah, I think that is stone stone circle. Shame we won't be exploring these three great seas of deserts and such. Yeah, we're not gonna explore these four regions, I feel like. <laughs> It's gonna suck a little bit, but I think that's the region I needed to, or that's the thing I needed to look for, which is good. Oh god, there's nothing near it really? Oh my god, a thousand miles, or a thousand meters of walking. Okay, well, I'm not gonna walk, I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna ask for chocobo camo! Chocobo camo. But yeah, in general, it just feels kind of like, if, if Odyssey is that way, then obviously I'm gonna spend a lot of time similarly to uh, this game, where it might be more the episodes than this one. I feel like, um, excluding the DLC, of course. Like the main game will take so long to beat because of how much content there is or how much level progression you need to have, and so on and so forth. It kind of sucks a little bit though. Yeah. Um, that that's the case because I'm not a big fan of like grindy grindiness. I mean, I'm just fortunate enough to like going, like I'm fortunate enough to go through all the side quests in this game. Not all the side activity, of course, but all the side quests because I felt like when I did all the side quests, I felt stronger and I was, I was like, I think I'm ready for the finish of the game, kind of thing. Got it, but I don't think I care much about it. Oh jeez, I'm glad that the camel didn't die from that or fall down like crazy weirdo. Because I know some games actually have weird physics with the horses, or the riding saddles and such, where the the horses the horses will just go crazy and just like flip around and get killed or something. I know that in Odyssey the horses do get to die by accident <laughs> if bumped into a weird collision or something. Whoa! Yeah. All right, there we go. All right, we're almost there. I think 
I think this is a stone circle, considering that it is on a flat surface, but at the same time, it's like out in the middle of nowhere near anything. It's like, it's not really near anything at all. So, it made sense that I would go through this if I needed to be. Still don't know what these sound effects are, but I keep hearing it. Like the... Okay, there's a stone circle here. I'm wondering if there's more stone circles in this one, but I highly doubt it though. Alright, there we go. Oresis. No, no. Osuris? I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. I tried my best pronouncing it. Come on, I hate this so much. The sandstorm thing is not necessary to be honest, considering that it's not helping me in a- It's not preventing me or anything, it just prevents me from doing things I need to do. It's so annoying. Alright, there we go. I at least got the, uh, the waiting time to be a thing, so it's good enough. Alright, here we go. This is the last one, so let's see what's up. The Big Dipper's right there, I think. Osiris was cut into 14 pieces by his jealous brother. Who scattered the pieces throughout the land. Osiris' wife, Iset, searched and found all the pieces except one. What happened to the other piece? It was eaten by a fish. It was his... So Osiris was resurrected <laughs> and became lord of the underworld. Oh, so we couldn't have children anymore, huh? <laughs> you are growing up far too quickly. <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, let's get this thing in here. I think it's this Osiris, one. Osiris, father of gods, brother of Set, murdered him. It is said that Iset's tears for her beloved husband created denial. Interesting. All right, it's this way. I I I position I position I positioned it pretty weirdly. So <laughs> it's interesting that the guy lost the ability to create children now. But I mean, it makes sense that that's the that's the case, I guess, for that particular myth. All right. So that should be the last of the Bayex promise, unless there's a second version of it where it upgrades to more. But that sounds ridiculous because it's like, what? <laughs> Stargazer not achievement not. unlocked. I can take all the shards back to see one now. Stargazer uh, achievement unlocked. So, yeah, let's go to Siwa. Fayum is not where we need to go. We need to go Siwa. Siwa's over here, I believe. Right here, yep. Around, wait, where? Wait, why did I skip out on this? The heck? I found a, I, I found the statue and just lifted it there or something? There we go. Um, okay, yeah, it's over here. So let's go ahead and fast travel to see was temple. I found a Ptolemy statue and I didn't destroy it. What a rare occasion where I just didn't do that. But yeah, there's some secret stuff like the Ptolemy statue I haven't taken out. The, uh... The, uh... Tombs that we haven't raided, and then some of the other tombs with the Animus, like, Jargon... Jargon Bargain... To talk about or hear about from... And then, um, of course, there is, uh... Yeah, and then the, there's the expansion stuff that's left. But yeah, overall, I want to finish off with the odyssey talking um is that yes odyssey is gonna probably be like twice as long as this game like maybe twice like twice two times the the main missions i had to deal with maybe or two times the side quests that we need to deal with and on top of that like i'm literally going to be like probably getting side activity galore and like optional stuff and such and stuff and stuff and it's gonna get annoying but I understand why it would be because it's for, you know, the story purposes, but at the same time, it felt kind of less story-esque if it's like that in the next game, but we'll see what happens. Um, because overall, I ultimately want to explore the story still, not explore a side quest just for the gain of rewards only. Um, and most of the side quests I did so far have been 
really well done. Like, I, I think all the side quests I've done so far are really well done in the story. Like, even if it's a small task, some of them offered a bit of story that worked out in the end, I feel like. So, yeah. All right, let's turn in the Biax quest or promise here. So I'm going to find every stone circle, the Sphinx and pyramids too, and I'll find my place. Aww. My son. Your name, Hemu, means Egypt. Really? Like Egypt. You are forever changed. Damn. The stars are yours now. And your place is with them. I'm getting goosebumps from the sadness of losing the kid again. Oh man. So there is one more side quest, probably. I'm looking like it, I didn't get the achievement for all the side, side quests, but... Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next part of the video. Hope you guys have a good, amazing day. We're gonna, whenever, or whenever you're watching this. I'm ending it now, because we finished it. So I'm gonna forever move on to the next thing. So, yeah. I'll talk about what we're gonna be doing next in the next episode. Um, which is probably right after this. But other than that... Yeah, that's it for me in this episode for now. I want to keep it short and simple. I wanted to get like some talking points out of the way. But at the same time, I also wanted to uh, get my X promise done in this episode. So that's been achieved. And the other thing it was achieved. So uh, yeah, I'll talk about whatever is going to be happening next in the next episode. So anyways, other than that. Um, okay. Other than that, uh, that's it for me in this episode for now. So, anyways, Ross, out.